<clears throat> Bill asks if we've ever thought about uh, quit to quit filming if it took away from hunting. Well, uh, it does take away from hunting, but I wouldn't say it's good or bad. It's just different. So um, it's definitely um, altered what I kill, and um, and it's altered uh, my success in certain ways. But it's a it's a matter of what your goals are. I mean, um, there's people film for different reasons, and people don't film for different reasons. I mean, some people that film want to be famous. Some some people want to help people, like myself. Um, some people, um, you know, they just want to be well known as a good hunter or something. Um, but you definitely don't do as well um, filming, and the filming also like I said earlier, attracts um, people to hunt your spots and your areas and they try to figure you out um, where just being on, if you just want to kill big bucks and put them on your wall, the best thing you can do is be unknown. Mm -hmm. And only the people you care about know about the bucks you shoot. That's the best way. But to some degree, I mean, if you're shooting big bucks, it's because, um, you, you kind of want to show that off whether you want to admit that or not it's no different than being a football star you don't want nobody to know you're a football star or a rock star of course you want people to know that so it's kind of a catch-22 but um it doesn't cross my mind to quit i mean um uh i'd be more likely to quit hunting and keep filming and making films about hunting than i would be to quit filming and continue hunting yeah yeah, filming is it's almost like a passion for me now. Like I, I love doing it. Um, it wasn't always like that. Like I've had times in my life where I went on and off filming, you know. Um, yeah. But I've grown to really enjoy that process of the hunt now. Yeah, it, it's um, it's funny because uh, I think anybody you talk to that's been doing it for a long time will tell you when they first started they want to throw their camera in a river. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I mean, the very first time I ever filmed hunting, I went on a trip to to Iowa. And it wasn't the first time I filmed, but it was the first time I did it seriously because I was, I was filming for a TV show at the time. And I went down there and I went to a new property. And the first day I picked this spot where it, is, it looked good and a 150 inch buck comes walking out, walks right to me. I got the camera rolling and everything. And, and I tried to force the shot in the film screen and it was an easy shot, but because I was screwing around with the camera, trying to make this shot in the screen, I ended up shooting in the shoulder blade and I was so worried about the camera. I didn't even realize I shot it in the shoulder, the shoulder blade. I thought I smoked it and I get the can't grab the camera instead of another arrow. And I filmed this thing run right underneath me and stand underneath me looking around. And then I realize it's not very hurt. And then I go for another arrow and just as I draw, it takes off. And then, um, the very next day, I blew it on the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life. Um, a 200 plus inch 12 point typical. Um, oh. We've talked about that buck in the past, that one that lived on that oxbow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I shot that one in the uh, spine trying to force a shot on film and, and uh, didn't break its back. It ran off and uh, which is a horrible, horrible um, weekend. But uh, I wanted to throw that camera in the river, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I stuck with it. And, uh, you know, at first it's a struggle, but after a while it's like a second hand. And it's like, uh, you know, we got guys that film with us who will tell you, well, I didn't turn the camera on. I forgot. I wasn't thinking about it. I was just thinking about the kill or, or I'm not turning the camera on because that buck was so big or, or whatever. For me and for you probably, Josh, it's secondhand nature. I mean, I'm not sure yeah. unless I'm turning the camera on. I mean, you, you know, it mm -hmm. wouldn't even cross my mind. Yeah, I turned the camera off before I grabbed my bow. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely not for everyone. Hey, everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.